name is Christopher Bryant, and I'm a type 1 diabetic. I was 16 years old, I was still in high school, and then I started feeling ill, so I went to the doctor and eventually they mentioned that I have type 1 diabetes, um, that I had to give myself injections. So that was a turning point in my life. Uh, it was a situation where you feel invincible, you feel like Superman, to come down with this illness, it really was a roadblock. When you were first diagnosed, how did it affect your taking care of yourself? Were you uh, taking the right kinds of medications? Were you being compliant? Well, at a young age, I, I didn't have to take, take care of myself at all, you know, prior to being diagnosed with diabetes. So all of a sudden, uh, the doctor says, okay, you have to take insulin injections, you have to check your sugars right. many times a day. Uh, that you have to change the way you eat. Um, I didn't take that lightly. I was still a kid. So I really didn't follow the rules in terms of uh, the, what was prescribed out for me. So, you know, later on I, I, I saw the, the effects of it, but in the beginning I was still doing what I was doing as a kid as I didn't feel anything in terms of illness when it comes to uh, diabetes. That must have been really difficult, trying to monitor your blood sugars, take your insulin, and also uh, you're growing up at such a tough age. You're young, you're, you have so much going, and all your friends probably had no idea what was going on with you. How did you handle that? Yeah, it was, you no. Know, for the first 16 years, I was able to eat what I want, yeah. when I want, however much I want, yeah. and then all of a sudden it comes to a abrupt stop, I, for me only, right? So my friends are still doing what they wanted to do, and then I decided, you know, I, I had to really control, you know, back then, uh, I had to stay away from sugars, stay away from all rices, potatoes, breads, all right. of the foods that I like, sure. you know, all of the candies. And sure. the, so eventually it led to me uh, rebelling and just trying to doing what I wanted to do and being like my friends. Um, so, so you were not taking the medication or what you were supposed to be doing? You uh, were I, cheating a bit. Yeah, I was cheating a lot. Um, I, I started to honing in a little bit later, but in the beginning, I can honestly say that I didn't follow the, uh, the protocols sure. that was needed to be taken for to be a, sure. a type 1 sure. diabetic. Under control. Well, when I hit my mid-20s, then the untreated diabetes started to cause effects um, in terms of renal failure, uh, which I eventually needed to have a kidney transplant, um, which was successful, but um, at, it, this was my wake-up call in order to really take hold and control in the diabetes from here forward. Well, I seeked help from the Diabetes Foundation because I needed it. Um, I needed more test strips as my insurance company didn't pay for enough. I so see. the Diabetes Foundation gave me the adequate amount of test strips, which helped me out because I Great. test my sugars quite often each day. Well, coaching at Great. the Diabetes Foundation primarily helped me with support of controlling my diabetes, and they've always done that for me. I describe the Diabetes Foundation as helpful, engaging, and passionate.